Well, hello everybody, and welcome back. We are drawing close to the end of our study, Prepared to Meet Your God, a study in the book of Amos. So be certain that you read the scripture first, okay? Take some time, meditate upon it. This fifth chapter is referred to as a dirge, okay? It's a lament. Judgment was determined. God had told them what had happened and why he was going to judge them, and there was nothing they could do to forestall the judgment. And the Lord gives them examples that show that 90% of them would be taken out in the exile, and another 10% would be a remnant that would be left behind. But the Lord says something three times to them. He says, seek me that you may live. Not that judgment would not come, but that you might live. Okay, You may live in exile. You might live as part of the remnant. He said, don't resort to go down to Bethel. Don't go to Gilgal. Don't go to Beersheba. These are the places of worship they would run off to and do their worship in the way they wanted to to God. He said, don't do that. They're going to be destroyed. He said, fire will consume, and judgment is going to come upon those who have perverted justice and righteousness. And then the Lord says why. He, he gives us some insight into him, who he is, that he's the God who made the Pleiades and the Orion. He makes the shadow of death in the morning. He darkens the day and the night and calls for the waters of the sea and pours that water on the earth. You know, that's sort of interesting because it actually shows us what we call in science the hydrological cycle right there, Okay. The scripture shows us all sorts of truth like that. And it says the Lord is his name. And so therefore, destruction will flash forth from him. And then the Lord gives us some insight into how the people were and how they were responding. He said they hate him who reproves in the gate. They abhor him who speaks with integrity. And so if you want to reprove within the gate, the leadership, if you speak forth integrity, you will be hated. You will be a hoard. He says here's what they're doing. They're imposing heavy rent. They're exacting tribute of the grain, particularly, of, in other words, taxes on food. Um, they had well-hewn houses and wonderful vineyards, but they were not going to be able to live in them because their transgressions were many, their sins were great, they distressed the righteous, and they accepted bribes. And he tells them to do this. You need to seek good, not evil, that you may live. We see that again. Seek good, not evil, that you may live. And he tells them, hate evil, love good, establish justice in the gate. Perhaps God will be gracious to the remnant. That's a great thing for us to do, is to love good and hate evil. Perhaps the Lord will do something mighty. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.